Today fits the Buddha's definition of an auspicious day. It doesn't depend on the stars, it doesn't depend on the numbers. It depends on what you do. And he says, when you ardently do your duty, putting aside thoughts of the past, worries about the future, and focusing on what needs to be done right here, right now. That's an auspicious day. What duties do you have? The duty to comprehend suffering. That's the first one. What does it mean to comprehend? You see what it really is. You realize that it doesn't come from things outside. There may be unpleasant things outside, but the real suffering comes from the, within the mind. And you want to see that. And where does it come from? It comes from your cravings, the things you really want. This is where the analysis gets counterintuitive. We think we're happy because we want things and can then satisfy our wants. But the fact that we need to want things, that shows that there's a huge lack, and it never ends. It's like that Far Side cartoon where the two birds are sitting on the edge of a baby carriage. There's a baby in the carriage with its mouth wide open. And one of the birds says to the other, I've been stuffing worms into its mouth all day and does seem to be full. Well, the mind is like that. It doesn't get full. And the problem is that we go around with this lack all the time. So we have to learn how to make up for the lack. We do that by developing the path. And that way we can abandon the craving that causes the suffering. So as we focus on the breath, we're doing our duty. In other words, whether we like to think of it as a duty or not, we remember that nobody's imposing the duty on us. It's simply the way things are. This is what has to be done if you want to put it into suffering. You have to develop the mind, develop concentration to calm things down so you can see things clearly, and have the strength to do what needs to be done in terms of comprehending your suffering. Because the Buddha said, when you really comprehend it, then there's no more passion, aversion, or delusion around it. So you really have to look at your clingings. What are you holding on to right now? What are you feeding off of right now? Is there some way you can let go? Can you feed yourself in better ways? This is another one of the reasons we do meditation, because the concentration is food for the mind. So as long as you're feeding the mind well like this, doing your duty, because that's what makes this an auspicious day. You can make every day an auspicious day, no matter what the stars may say, no matter what events outside can be like. It's within your power to make things auspicious. What does it mean to be auspicious? It means that it bodes well for your future. So make up your mind every morning, this is going to be an auspicious day and do your best to carry through with that determination.